Hello guys and welcome to episode 46 of my Napoleon Total War campaign playing as Great Britain going for world domination. Today is the day we kill Denmark and then that will leave Sweden as the last nation we need to destroy. So this is the battle we're going to do to start today against Jacob Alkenvad. Well, in we go. I'm tempted to try out the light infantry in front of my line infantry again. It was mentioned in the comments previously. I did try it before, but I found that a lot of my men were getting shot in the back still from reloading and stuff. So I'm not entirely sure, but we can give it a go. Let's have a look at this map. It looks like they're all going to be clumped together, which is quite nice. We can just deploy on the right hand side here. How's the terrain? Honestly, what we could do, we could have the rifles deploy along the road and then have the line infantry sort of just up behind them, like this. Yes, sir. Because there's just enough of a height difference that even if they were standing up, they're probably still firing over their heads. So we'll give that a go. Alright, let's have this artillery yes, on the right hand side here. Carcass. Put them on carcass. Order. This one a little further across. Carcass. Lovely. And then we'll have these cannons on the left hand side. Great. Now we just need some infantry squads between them. That'll do. I will have this one here. And then I've got a couple small ones that we could put on the right flank. Alright, then it's a matter of having infantry in front of those. So we'll grab this one. We'll put them into light infantry behavior. And I'll just have them down yes, on the road. I'm going to move these Order. guys up a little bit, actually. Yes, Orders. Artillery. Is that working? Orders. It could be forwards a little bit more. Right away. Although we don't want to be hit by a canister at any point. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right, that'll do. Orders. Okay, we'll put Maybe a couple of the smaller squads line infantry behavior in front of these guys. Yes, sir. Let's Dragoon. just get my dragoons out of the way so I can see what I'm doing. Yes, light infantry oh, I do have my light infantry. We can just put them out on the left flank here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And I'll have the rifles in front of those. We need to put them in yes, light infantry behavior. Skirmishers. I will have one on the right hand side here as well. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Great. Uh, there's one more unit over there that we haven't used yet. Orders. I think Infantry I'm actually going to move these forwards. Yes, Maybe make them a bit tighter on the formation. Sir. Okay. These fellas can just sit on the left side. Let's start the battle. Probably speed it up because they don't have any artillery, so they're going to come straight towards us. And I should be on carcass, explosive. Yeah, we're all good. This is targeted fire. What does that do? Increases accuracy for a short amount of time. Oh, well, that could be pretty useful. Yeah, we will definitely give that a go. Uh, they're pretty clumped up, so the explosive shot might actually do some quite serious damage. Ooh, that was a, a nice explosion over their head there. Alright, let's target this arm cisternary. Well, that was a good cannon shot. Went straight through a bunch of those men. I think I'm going to carcass those units further back. Oh, that was a nice one. Nice explosive shot there. Oh, damn. Oh, that didn't actually blow up that much. I should have my normal cannons actually target the general stuff. That would be the smart move. 
I'm not sure why they're swinging to the right so much. This is a bit awkward. Oh, that was a nice shot there. I knocked a few of them down. Looks like it didn't kill them all, though. Right, let's just keep it sped up as they come towards us. I just really enjoy uh, watching and listening to the explosive shots and also the cargo shot. They look really cool. Uh, this right side's going to come under a lot of stress. Might be worth just changing up this left side. We'll put down our stakes, why not? Not that it's really going to make too much of a difference. Straight into the road. The strength on those men. Does look cool. Stops the general staff from charging us at least. All these rifles firing away. So yeah, you can see they sometimes stand up. Like these guys are gonna get shot in the back. So are those two on the left. I mean, thankfully, I think my line infantry is slightly higher up. Oh, they're coming in hot. They are coming in hot. Glorious victories, huh? right, I should probably just charge through them. Doesn't really matter if this army takes too much damage. I don't mean we're just point blanking those militia on the right. Well, those guys are shooting the wrong troops. Nice charge there from the cab though, it's gonna save the day. Got to be a little bit careful not to fall on my own stakes. That would be uh, less than ideal. I wonder if you can even do that. Oh, well, that's victory. <laughs> All of their units were militia or armed citizenry, so we just won that straight up. <laughs> Incredible. Okay, Eddie 4 lost. Pretty good. Peacefully occupy, thank you very much. And that is Denmark destroyed. Very, very nice indeed. Okay. That's going to give them a chance to replenish. Not that it really matters anymore, since it's near the end of the campaign. Uh, we have this small army here. They need to move up. That's the two cannons that have been chasing down one of these. I think it's this one, Ebenezer Preston. To get his cannons going. And we may as well be moving up towards Sweden. Although saying that, I'm not sure if I should have done that. I probably should make the attack first, just, just in case it kicks us out of the territory. We've got these two armies more or less waiting to go towards Finland. Uh, let's go into port here. 
and pick up those troops. Okay, great. And uh, we can move towards Finland. And we need to do the same here. And we'll probably wait alongside this army. And then we'll land them both at the same time. Because I could technically land that straight away, but I don't want to be like triple teamed. <laughs> So we'll make sure that both my armies land and then we can go from there. Alright. So it's actually not going to be long until we win the campaign as a whole. Let's declare war on Sweden. See what it does. It does allow us to attack. Okay, awesome. Alright. This is going to be a relatively difficult battle. But I reckon we can make it work. George Townsend... The nine star general. The morale of these troops is going to be top notch. All right, let's jump on in. There's not a town map, which is interesting. We're fighting outside of the city. So we've got to choose the best terrain, which doesn't look that favorable at the moment, honestly. It looks pretty, pretty rough. And this right side, possibly, we could set up maybe a couple of cannons over here to start sniping some of their cav. Might be an idea. But I'm not a fan of having two sets of cannons so close together on a battle this big. Because if we lose our cannons, then we're in trouble. Not really any other hills, though. Maybe I can just spread them out a little bit. And we'll give the job of protecting them to the Highland Foot, maybe. Yes, sir. All right, that will do. Not sure what I want to do with my other piece of artillery. I could potentially deploy them a little bit further back. Maybe on this left side. I could put them here or something. And then build the line between those. We can have a few units like so. Yes, We've got the battery on the right. Yes, I might put my units of fencibles like behind the cannons. Yes, so that we can help defend the cannons if needs be. We'll keep a couple units of line infantry. Yes, on each side. Yes, right, we'll just grab the rest of this stuff and bring it back for now. Ready, so I'll just have my dragoons over here. Spread out George Townsend. Yes, 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 I don't know where I want to put my light foot. I could maybe squeeze them actually on the right hand side here. Let's do that. Have them three ranks deep. And just squeeze them in there to help protect the cannons. A little extra firepower. Good. Uh, I might just keep this extra unit in reserve. We'll put them whichever side needs be. Start the battle. key here is hitting the cab ASAP. Are we just out of range? Uh, looks like it. Well, we can always just fire in front. And as you can see, it <laughs> just bounced through all of those dragoons. Well, it looks like they are actually just charging us. Which is a good thing.
Ooh, that was a nasty round that bounced through there. Oh, that one landed just short. Oh, that was another good hit. Beautiful. Beautiful. I think that shot that went off to the left there probably bounced off one of the trees. This really is at like the maximum of our range. Although it looks like we did manage to kill one of their pieces of arty, which is good. Are they gonna unlimber those? Nope, doesn't look like it. Oh, there we go, another nice hit. Probably didn't do as much damage as I thought it would. Let's speed things up a bit as we keep firing. Great. Another good hit. Good couple hits there. Fantastic. Right, we made them route. Focus on this unit now instead. Already been hit a little bit. Well, as those cav uh, run away, it looks like they're bringing in artillery. So maybe we take the opportunity to go destroy that extra artillery. I don't want to leave it in a position where they have loads more line infantry than us, though, because otherwise we will get overwhelmed. And that would not be good. This is where the strategy of just killing all the cav doesn't work. But it doesn't really matter if we... Um, I was going to say... It doesn't really matter if we let them rout, because we're going to take this element anyway, so they'll die. That's okay. Alright, let's try and hit the general stuff. I'm not sure we'll be able to through the trees, but we can give it a go. Oh, there is actually cav that we might be able to hit on this side. If I give an attack ground order, we might be able to hit those hussars. Oh, they have brought in another unit behind those cannons. Uh, that's a bit awkward. Alright, uh, let's just kind of walk forwards for now. I'm so tempted to charge into these cannons, but... I don't think we need to for now. I'm not sure any shots are getting through towards the Sassars, so that's a little bit of a problem because it is definitely extending the the engagement quite a bit. Let's right, see if we can clean up these cannons. I can certainly bait these towards me, then run round them. Benefit of being cab after all. So you do have the maneuverability and the speed. We will have to be careful of the reinforcements coming in from the edge of the map once we kill these cannons. Because they'll come in straight behind us and it could be some more cab, although I think it's just mostly line infantry. Right, they might stop to shoot at us, but that would be through the trees right now, so I'm not too concerned. I need to catch them before they get to the spikes. Looks like we're they're way fast enough. Although those few units are 
running all the way up to the spikes for whatever reason. Okay, they survived anyway. We're all good. We just gotta have these run as fast as they can to get away. It is so tempting to run into these cannons. Alright, let's just speed things up. Oh no, that's not good. Oh my. That was some really bad cannon shots for us. And their horse artillery smashed us. I'm thinking I probably should have charged into the back of those cannons, but I didn't want to get charged in the back by the cav after we hit the cannons. Also, there's a line infantry right next to them, so that would not end too well. But that artillery, their artillery is so accurate. What's going on there? Don't we have lost a cannon? Alright, let's try and deal with these cannons on the right hand side. Because there's no cavalry there to stop me. Is soon to be yours. Order. Well, apparently we have a very large lead right now. Not entirely sure how. I just realised these guys have taken a lot of damage. My poor Highland foot. Yes, Let's see if we can break down some of these cannons. Gonna leave them there for now. Not sure what they're doing. Oh, I think they are reforming to allow for the other units to get in line. Which is not good because it's gonna be very difficult for me to actually run down the cannons now. Although, it looks like the left side is becoming quite vulnerable, but the Hussars are still there. So that's a bit of an issue. But they are closer. Alright, if my own Dragoons were full strength, I would be using them right now. Let's just hope a cannon shot or two can... Get in there and kill those guys. Oh, we took out a cannon. Looks like we're kind of reliant on bounces to hit these guys. Right, how are those cannon shots doing? Could really do with like having like a, a port that I could see the other side of the map. At the same time, because I need to pay attention to how much damage the cavalry is taken on the right hand side. And I also need to pay attention to whether or not these cannons are getting taken out.
Alright, let's jump back over to the other side. It right, looks like the horses are running, but now there's loads of line infantry behind, so that's not good. Okay, we might have to make some like sacrificial charges. To get rid of these cannons. Well, maybe not. Maybe not. Alright, let's see if we can just finish off the hussars here. Because now the line's shifted forwards. It's left some of them vulnerable. Uh, these guys are actually getting pretty low. We'll just keep trying to smash their artillery with our own. Alright, that's... yeah, they're gone. Okay, good. Alright, let's focus on their artillery now. I'm probably able to kill these without taking too much damage from the line infantry because they would have to turn around and then they would have to shoot through their own men. This is such a bait at the moment from the AI. I really want to just right click charge on these. I did manage to take out one cannon here. Like an extended artillery engagement before the battle. At some point I will definitely just charge. We just need one to hit where I told it to and then it will destroy the cannon. There we go, there's one gone. Maybe take out the other one. Oh, there we go. Beautiful. Take out the last one. Maybe I can target the unit itself. Okay, it looks like they're moving away from the cannons on this side, so let's go take those out. I'll need to stop the cannons from firing, though, so they don't kill my cow. On the other side, probably best to move my cow back for the time being. Lovely. Slice them up, boys. Yep, that's the cannons dealt with. Great. I might be able to come up behind them here and kill these cannons as well. It would be fantastic. I'm just going to allow those cannons to fire at well. Hopefully they'll just target the units closest to them. Uh, is it worth me charging the general staff? Maybe. Probably better to shoot them.
Try and kill the general. That will definitely help us out. Cannonball to the face. Go on. You can get him. I'm just waiting for them to be dead before we take out these cannons. Probably start running over there. We have killed their there we go, perfect. They must break. All right, let's just stop them from firing for now. Time to charge the guns. Okay, great. Well, that's all the artillery gone. So, they should start coming towards us. Do a runner. This unit took a lot of damage, didn't it? Totally worth it, though. Alright, we're going to have these open up again. Uh, the right flank's going to be really, really <laughs> um, outnumbered. <laughs> There's a lot of troops here. Order. Unfortunately, we have lost a cannon or two along the way. Uh, they are sending a couple units back to deal with my cab, which is nice. I'm just going to turn these invincibles off fire at will, but I'm going to have them near the cannons so that we can save the cannons if needs be. Great. Right. Probably fire to the right here. Okay, good. And it's fine. Right, we actually shattered those units already. Uh, my artillery definitely need to back off. Actually, I guess they can just go get back on their guns. Okay, wow. Um, <laughs> my cab's just leading these away. That's hilarious. Okay, great. Let's bring these all back. And I should have my cab run these down just to make sure they are shattered. This has been a quite methodical battle, which has worked out quite well for us. Put these back onto fire well. We will demolish that unit. Let's come back. Oh boy, canister guys, come on. <laughs> The other troops should be coming back. Oh, that's a that's a square. Well, that's annoying. Let's run away as fast as possible.
Okay, and what we need to do is probably start having these charge back. And then we need to put all of these onto round shot. Okay, brilliant. Actually, the perfect angle for the cannons to just hit down the line with a round shot. Okay, next up is the left flank. Should just be able to two v one these guys. Yep, that was just a full volley from both. Then back on the fire at well. Why are they firing at this unit when there's obviously these units in front of them? It's really odd. Okay, well, we'll just keep it sped up. I'm going to put it onto canister, put it back on fire at will. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Those are some proper clean shots. should be over quite shortly especially with all of these canister shots going through that's it that's victory I'll just leave it there won't bother to chase them down uh, I realized that that is the reinforcing army and that um, it'd probably be a good idea to run down the reinforcing troops but with any luck there won't be too many left nope Sweden ours fantastic and um, we do actually have range to run them down uh, let's send a few line infantry and just go finish them off them. And there we go unconquered. Any further orders? Lordship. all right so we have uh, two armies heading up this way and the last place we need to take is Finland. All right, so nothing else to move. Just double checking and he can start heading up his way here, but not really gonna make too much of a difference. Not gonna bother with our fleets. Let's just end the turn. So all we need to do really is land with the two armies let them attack us which is most likely what they're going to do and then if they don't we'll attack them and then that will be it this will be the last battle just land as close to the settlement as we can we're actually sending some troops away okay interesting All right steamship propulsion is here well, unfortunately, we're not going to see steam ships. Right. Probably land one there. And we'll land one next to 
not a healthy place to rest. Oh, we're taking attrition because it's winter. Yes, my lord. This is not a healthy yes, place to rest. I wonder how much damage we'll actually take on the end of the turn. Interesting. Actually, they're taking attrition as well. Okay. So is Alexander Abercrombie. I'm actually going to put him into ambush there. So I'm not sure where their other troops are, and I don't want to have him be attacked at the end of the turn. That would be a waste. Alright, these can head up to Stockholm. And I should probably have a ship come around and pick them up. Alright, that'll do. Send the turn. Imminent bankruptcy? Wait, what? Oh, I know why. Because of uh, our trade being cancelled. Yeah, that'll be why. Oh, we'll just get rid of those then. We'll be able to get rid of those. That's fine. Uh, we'll get rid of this army. Okay, and we should be fine. Let's move on. Yeah, we lost all of our trade with uh, Sweden and Denmark, so that was probably costing us a lot each turn. Gathering supplies. Anything else? We just got to disband those armies that aren't getting involved. I don't really want to play that out, so I'm just going to decline. They can go past us if they want to. Alright, we did take a little bit of attrition. This battle isn't going to be half as epic as I hoped it would. That's a real shame. Alright, well. There we go. It's time to win the campaign. Let's go forwards with Michael Stahl. I've been rather impressed by Michael Stahl throughout the campaign. Let's slaughter ourselves for some militia and win the campaign. I was really hoping that all of the armies would be here, but they're not. So we'll just take the settlement and then we'll have owned the entire world. All right. Nice win to war. We managed to basically take all of the eastern settlements before the winter arrived, which is, which is nice. So how are we going to do this? I guess I'm just going to get all of my troops to move back. We'll unlimber. And then we'll just spread them out a bit. Like so. I'm going to have my foot guards in between these ones. Get all of my elite troops. I've only got one set of light foot. I think I'll just have them just there. That's fine. Cool. We do also have the King's German Legion foot. I've already got two on the left here. That's fine. Keep a unit behind the cannons. And we'll put them on... We'll turn off fire at will. Put one behind these lot, tell them to fire at will. Alright, that'll do. Let's just spread out the cav. Alright, we'll start the battle. Oh, this is a juicy target for our cannons. Not sure if they're all firing at them though. Look at them just come straight towards us. The tide of militia. It's the Swedish last stand. The general back standing back here safe for now.
And they're probably going up against one of our most elite armies. The foot guards here. Also the King's German Legion. And we also have the Connaught Rangers. Michael Stahls come from basically southern France all the way up to Finland during this campaign. Let's keep things sped up and we'll change it to canister shot when they get close, which will be any second now. Just gonna stop them firing. We'll change them to that preemptively. Oh, look at them all firing. The militia just got chewed up there. Okay, now they're all in range, let's Glorious go for a barrage. Well, I think they are just straight up charging my cannons. We'll go in with our foot guard. Oh, they are going to get melted. Foot guard is so good. I say that, I actually took quite a lot of losses. That might just be because of the way that they got engaged. Oh, that's not good. Gonna save my artillery there if we can. Big old infantry brawls. I'm gonna have to have the other men fall back. Okay, great. Let's not allow a 1v1. No point. We'll help out the foot guards there. Gonna keep charging down those men. These can just keep firing as these come across. They're probably trying to get towards my foot guard. And the King's German Legion foot. Gonna have my cav break through the middle. And we'll sweep round into the back of the militia here and their general. Right, let's just have all of these charge forwards. I'm gonna have some deal with those militia. This unit can just charge into the back of them. The classic hammer and anvil. There we go. Beautiful. Our men are running for. Oh no. Where are they running? The uh, King's German Legion foot died to the Swedish militia. Shameful display. But that is pretty much victory. There we go. The Swedish are defeated.
a heroic victory to end the campaign. 895 lost. Into Finland we go. And that is it. The end of my campaign. World domination officially complete. Fully complete. Uh, we are in debt. Unfortunately, our trade is it's not really worth it anymore. We don't actually get any income from trade anymore. So, yeah. Whilst these are giving us some money, we're actually not getting anything, any any bonuses from trade. Uh, but yeah, that's every single nation destroyed. Uh, as you can see, we are the only one left in Europe. Lovely. That's what we like to see. What a fantastic campaign this has been. I've really, really enjoyed doing the Napoleon Total War campaign. Uh, as you guys may have already been doing. You've been voting on the polls, hopefully. On the community page of my YouTube channel. There has been a poll up for a little while. And it looks like it's either going to be the world domination with Skaven or the Three Kingdoms DLC, Kingdom of Heaven. But we'll see what happens next. I might end up actually doing both. Who knows? But this has been really fun. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this campaign as much as I have. It's been absolutely awesome. Look at all of these uh, different battles all over the place. The Battle of Orléans, the Battle of France, the Battle of Picardy Champagne. Then we got the Battle of Metz. So many battles. Does it show us like the losses and stuff? No. It is interesting how spread out they are. Very, very cool. Yeah. Anyway, that's it. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next campaign. Goodbye. <laughs>